All right, guys, God bless you. It's, it's JWE here, Revelation News. And I'm going to do a little testimony video for while I'm taking my drive to the store to get dinner for my sons and my beautiful wife because I'm just going to eat whatever's in the house. That's the way I'm going to roll. So I'm going to do a testimony video. I want to tell you about something beautiful called the spirit of adoption. And that's what I'm naming this, the spirit of adoption. I was an only child and I was very, what's the word? Uh, I liked being an only child a lot. And the story here basically is what the Lord did for me in showing me an object lesson. He'll do that a lot. Where he'll take you and you have something about your personality that has to change. I really liked being an only child. And the way the, way the Lord changed my heart. I'm driving a 2007 Chevy Tahoe, by the way. Don't mess with me because if you do and you have a little Toyota or something, this thing will destroy your ass. I'll plow right through you. This thing is a fucking tank. But anyway, the spirit of adoption. What the Lord did with me is he took a situation where I was basically very, uh, I what's, me, what's mine is mine. And because I was an only child and my mother just showered me with gifts like I was Jesus, you know, me coming into my mother's life was like just almost like a second coming for her because she wanted a child so bad. And my mother and father tried to have a child for for years for they were married for years before I came along. My mom was 37 when she had me. So what the Lord did was he he took Shannon and strategically placed her in my life with two boys that aren't mine. And he said that you're going to fall in love with these two boys so much that you are going to adopt them. The spirit of adoption is biblical and it's New Testament. And I'll tell you why. Because the Lord Jesus adopted all of us at Calvary. For those that are predestined, and I do believe in predestination, that's a tenet of Calvinism that I absolutely believe. What the Lord will do, he will do because he's sovereign. He took me as an only child, pretty spoiled, very spoiled. And he said, because I adopted you, I am going to require you to adopt two boys because I, I am here to bless Shannon and her sons with a life that they deserve, where we can live in Boulder, Colorado, one of the most beautiful places to fuck, to I'm sorry, I'm really going to try and clean up my language now because Minister Paul, an elder, he's above me technically because he's an elder. And he rebuked me for the cursing on the live stream with Amanda Breck. So I, I absolutely vow to you to do my best to clean up my mouth, okay? That's a promise. These two awesome boys, and it's two, not one, right? Because when the Lord blesses, he, he blesses multiple times, not just one. So, I'm going to adopt Zachary and William will be Zachary Egroff and William Egroff. There's going to be another William Egroff. That was my dad's name, William Egroff. And he passed away in this state, in Morgan County, in this state, in 1991, he passed on. There's another William Egroff now, or there soon will be in Colorado is it that crazy folks so yeah that's that's my testimony that's another testimony from me 
that the Lord knew that my spirit was very me, 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 and that had a change, and it has. I focus on Shannon, my wife, and my two sons that I am adopting very soon. And that's my testimony. I'm calling this a testimony dash the spirit of adoption. Because the Lord Jesus Christ is your father. When when you when you become a believer and accept the Holy Spirit, you become an adopted son or daughter of Jesus. That's the way it works. And that's how he did it with me. He showed me an object lesson of no you're not going to be about it's not going to be jason for himself it's going to be jason for shanny zach and will so since son i adopted you you have to adopt two boys and take care of them and love them like sons need to be loved because they've been abandoned Doug Gaddis and Christopher Dornbush. Jason William Egroff stands up and he's in the council and he stands up in the courtroom and says, I will take care of those boys. They're mine now. How's that? So this is Jason William Egroff, Revelation News being blessed and giving you a testimony because testimonies are, it's the Lord in your life. The spirit of adoption. What is this little O here? On the iPhone. I touch it and it shrinks. I don't know what that is. Okay, that, yeah. Weird, I don't know. But I'm at the store and that's a little seven minute video for you. Jesus bless you all.